Hello, followers of my YouTube channel. Uh, welcome to um, this today's tutorial on JS application for uh, soil loss uh, or soil erosion modeling using the revised universal soil loss equation. So this is the fourth part of uh, this tutorial, and today we will see about uh, the third parameter, or that is the uh, third factor slope length factor okay and the uh, previous videos we have seen the introduction part as well as uh, rainfall erosivity and soil, erod uh, soil erodibility factors now today we will see the endless or the slope uh, length factor so uh, this uh, slope length factor actually uh, incorporates the slope length as well as the slope uh, steepness factors okay so we should have to consider the steepness as well as the length of the slope okay so this uh, slope length is a distance from the point of origin of overland flow to the point where either the slope decreases yeah enough that the positions or the run of water enters they will define the channel in a shorter way this slope length means that is the distance from the overland flow to that of uh, the well-defined channel in case in our case it may be a rivers or streams okay so uh, that distance is uh, slope length so generally if this uh, if you have the uh, greater slope for instance, if the slope of uh, a land is greater, and in that case, the velocity of the run of water is high, okay, and we expect that high amount of soil erosion is uh, estimated or recorded. So, the slope has its effect on the erosion amount of soil erosion. So, in order to determine this uh, slope length is in ArcGIS environment, our basic input is the uh, DM or it is the digital elevation model. Okay, so from this digital elevation model, we can generate a slope map as well as a flow accumulation grid. Okay, so um, uh, those the flow accumulation in the slope map is very important in order to determine this slope length factor so those in order to determine the flow accumulation in the slope the dm data or the uh, digital uh, elevation model is necessary and uh, if in case uh, we if we don't have uh, dm data uh, we may have an option to uh, digitize topographic maps okay in order you should have to have topographic map and uh, you have to digitize it under the digitized uh, the topographic map you should have to generate a contour with 20 meter interval then you can have uh, an access to generate a tin or triangular regular network and now we can convert yes we can convert this tin into them in a raster format okay but nowadays we do have a lot of uh, sources that helps us to download dm yeah for instance you can use alaska satellite facility satellite facility as well uh, this earth explorer yeah in order to download a digital elevation model so um, after you have uh, prepared the slope and the flow accumulation map of your watershed the final step is you should have to determine this the slope lengths under ArcGIS environment on raster calculator. So um, based on the suggestion of this Moore and uh, Burch in 1986, the uh, slope length factor LS is given by the power of flow accumulation times resolution. This resolution means uh, the cell size of the digital elevation model, yeah, divided by 
the power 0 0.4 for the case of flow accumulation okay for the case of this flow accumulation the power 0 0.4 times the power into sine slope yeah you should have you should have this uh, uh, slope map as well as the uh, flow accumulation map times this one divided by by this the power of 1.3 so using this equation you can have uh, the power uh, to determine this slope length factor uh, for the, the input of this revised universal so you lose kg in order okay so finally uh, you may have say type of uh, map for the case of this ls factor so uh, before we are proceed to the JS environment it is better to see some articles yeah for instance from this article uh, uh, this topographic factor ls factor is defined as this uh, this ls factor accounts for the influence of topography on erosion and it includes both the slope length factor and the uh, slope steepness factor as i have told you before this ls means that is l stands for the slope length while s uh, uh, is the slope steepness factor okay so in the steeper and longer slope if you have steeper and longer slope erosion by water is greater due to the greater influence of topography and increasing runoff you see if the uh, slope is steeper and as well as longer we have uh, greater erosion due to water yeah and uh, uh, in conversely in gentle and shorter slopes the soil uh, erosion by water is lower what uh, that means small so uh, we should have to take care on that when we are saying ls factor we should have we are saying that the slope length factor as well as slope steepness factor and uh, based on the modes and uh, this boot yeah we don't uh, uh, justification sorry of or the suggestions of this more and boots this ls factor is given by this one the flow accumulation times cell size divided by 20.13 raised to 0 0.4 uh, uh, times the sine slope of uh, the sine slope divided by 0 0.0896 the power of 1.3 you see this is a, uh, a general equation you can get also from this uh, paper just like this in a similar way having this on the theoretical aspect let us proceed with this JS uh, environment in order to determine the uh, slope length factor yeah? therefore as I have told you before the very important parameter in order to determine the slope length that is uh, uh, the uh, slope steepness and that of the slope length factors you should have to have the digital elevation model of your watershed for this uh, tutorial we have this dam and I should have to uh, mask based on your watershed boundary yeah so uh, to do that uh, you should have to open arc toolbox first yeah arc toolbox this one so uh, under this arc toolbox proceed to this spatial analysis tool and there is here uh, extraction in order to uh, mask your watershed okay so double click on this uh, extract by mask then our input raster is the, uh, this dam yeah and that's a dam and i would like to uh, extract by the endless watershed here yes and i would like to put here as i can say that uh, and that's a dam just like this i can say okay so uh, you can say here okay now uh, we are uh, getting our uh, digital elevation model for the intended watershed in such a way so 
and now we can have an access to the latest one the previous one yeah if you uncheck the watershed boundary we have this uh, digital elevation uh, or digital elevation model yeah so having this uh, dm data the first uh, parameter is a slope map yeah so similarly go to this arc toolbox and uh, this spatial analysis tool and uh, go to the surface in order to prepare the slope map here okay so double click on this slope our input raster is uh, under sadm here okay so uh, this one is uh, under a slope okay and that's a, a slope map okay and say save and uh, uh, under the output measurement you should have to provide in degree okay in order to use the previous equation that is uh, uh, you should have to uh, pre uh, put the output measurement as degree okay if you uh, select this percent percent rise the previous equation may not be uh, functional so you should have to take care on this on, on selecting the output measurement okay so say okay here now uh, i have this slope map of the watershed if you see here the uh, slope map of under the watershed is 70 mm zero and uh, a, a larger slope based on degree is that is 56.7 we have the first uh, data for the earliest factor so the second data is the flow accumulation and uh, similarly uh, from this spatial analysis tool and uh, under hydrology we have this flow accumulation before uh, proceeding to this flow accumulation we should have to do uh, the filtering as well as the flow direction okay so uh, the first thing here is filtering and uh, uh, the input surface raster is a digital elevation model or the dm here and i can put as uh, this fill okay dm so i save okay now i have the field dm based on the field dm we should proceed with this flow direction uh, so you should have to provide the field dm for the flow direction and uh, i can say as this uh, flow uh, direction okay okay so let me reduce the uh, character just flow direct okay so say okay now we are computing the flow direction map of under our watershed having this flow direction map our last goal is determining the flow accumulation Okay, the second parameter so we can observe that from this flow uh, direction map from where to where the water is flowing okay so we can access in such a way flow accumulation all right double click on this flow accumulation then our input uh, data is the flow direction here the flow direction and uh, let us use as the flow accumulation here and that's all yeah we can say okay so uh, say okay here now we are uh, okay so uh, flow accumulation map is generated successfully as you see here we can observe that there are streamlines here okay or the stream networks of the rivers in the watershed yeah as you observe those are the major rivers yeah at the upstream there are some small rivers or tributaries that contribute to the main river of Andasa so in such a way you can generate a flow accumulation map and our last goal is uh, to determine the uh, LS factor so go to this spatial analysis tool similarly and uh, here is map algebra under this there is raster calculator so you should have to uh, double click on this and from the previous equation uh, in order to uh, calculate this ls 
we have the power yeah we have the power you can say that the power of flow accumulation and dessa times the resolution so the, re the resolutions of our dm is 12.5 by 12.5 you can see uh, from the source yeah 12.5 divided by 22.13 yeah comma or that is the power of 0 0.4 for the case of this flow accumulation in times the power in sine slope yeah here you should have to select sine slope and that's a slope and outside the bracket you should have to say times 0 0.01745 divide by 0 0.0896 yeah and the power here is 1.3 and you can say that uh, this is ls factor yeah ls factor you can say in such a way and say okay now it is generating the slope length factor of and as a watershed okay so if you see here if you see the ls factor of the watershed okay it looks like this if you uncheck the remaining one so uh, our ls factor or the slope length factor varies from 0 up to 40 in such a way so you can ch uh, change the color ramp from this one in such a way okay if you mark or you can invert it just like this so we can have uh, an access to prepare a late factor in such a way a simple way okay and uh, if you have any questions please put under the comment section I will come up with my answers okay and uh, don't forget to uh, share and uh, subscribe my youtube channel channel okay. so it is all about today and uh, have a nice time Bye.